Hi, this is Gimfent, and uh, in this tutorial we're going to do a sunset moon like this. Okay. So, new image, uh, I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080. And we'll start off uh, doing the background with the blend tool. So I need two colours. Uh, one color I'm going to use is C two three nine three three and zero F one one four one. Oopsie. Okay, so now we have the foreground color and background color. So I'm just going to blend from the bottom up like that. I'm going to create a new layer. And change the colors, foreground, background color to BA3A37. foreground color to F4 E122 and set my blend shape to radial and change the level to Deliver mo mode to multiply. Okay, now creating a new layer, so transparent. I'm going to use the free select tool and uh, do some hills. So I'm just going to go up, down, up, down, and up, down. and just pick up fill with black shift control a to clear the selection with the paint tool now i'm going to use a tree brush uh, in one of my early tutorials i showed you how to make a, a tree brush uh, and but you can I think most of these are downloaded from uh Breeze Breeze Brush. I'll put the link in the description. So just select the tree, use the left square bracket to shrink it down and paint some trees along here. do a, a moon so I'm going to create a, a new layer white but I need to make this square so I'm going to make it uh, 1080 by 1080 then I'm going to go to filters render clouds difference clouds and set the uh, X and Y to about 3 detail to 15 Turbulent. Okay. Now we'll go to filters. Map make seamless. Filters. Map. Map object. Set transparent background. Map to sphere. We'll change the light to. 10, 10, 
18. Okay. Okay, I'm going to the scale tool. Click on the image. Uh, make sure these are locked together. And just, uh, you can make it quite small. Scale. Now I'm just going to use the ellipse tool. Just to shave off a little bit of the moon. I'm going to go Control I to invert the selection and edit select feather by let's say 20. And then it should just go delete. Shift Control A to clear the selection. And place the moon. Okay, now we want some clouds. So, new layer, uh, new white layer. Render clouds, difference clouds. Turn the turbulent turbulence off. Uh, and I like it. Uh, a Y of about six and an X of about two. Detail 15. Okay, now duplicate the layer. So we've got two layers of clouds here. Uh, go to levels and click on auto. Threshold. Now just adjust the slider until you see some clouds that you like. Click OK. Now go to the color select tool and select the color you want to take away. I'm going to select the black and select feather by 5. Now go to your original cloud layer and just go delete. That's great. So we don't need that original, that copied layer anymore, so we can just delete that. I'm going to quickly erase, go to a hard brush, and go to the erase tool and just see. Shift Control A to clear the selection, take out all the clouds you don't want. You can experiment with the different layer modes to get the colors right. I think I'm going to go with multiply in this case. And then select the moon layer. And I tried addition last time, it worked reasonably well. And there we have it. So I'm just going to flatten the image and we're done. So we have a kind of a sunset moon effect. This is Kim Fiend. Thank you for watching.